if you only spoke that one time, mm -hmm. did you also tell him, by the way, somebody broke into it? Nope, never told him. Why not? Because I didn't know it got broken in until his brother went in the RV, but I didn't see him break when it in. When did that happen? That happened sometimes, I don't know what month it was. And when you found out that his brother went in, did you call him and tell him? He knew because I couldn't get a hold of him. Well, how could you not get a hold of him? He, he has the same phone. But he don't call me. So you tried to call him? I tried then so Then why don't times. we have any missed calls? I do not know. You can take this back, sure. Officer Montana. Okay, Mr. Chavez, you said in your answer that you were in the process of moving in February 2023. So you put half of your belongings in a storage unit. We have three storage units. And then you put other belongings in an RV. Mm -hmm. Why on earth is your rare coins collection sitting in an RV in a driveway? Because that was from her mother's house, mother who just passed away. No, my mother's. So we put her stuff, her valuables, into the RV because our storages were full. I did tell him over and over and over, tell him, please get my mother's stuff out of there. I don't feel safe with that stuff there. That stuff to me, that stuff means a lot to me. I felt safe because she has two big bad bulls that are vicious. Mm -hmm. No one can go in that yard. They bit my brother three times. He can't even walk in that yard. Yeah. When did they bite him? Over the past two, three years. They bit him a She just times. said, yeah. Right, I'm just wondering when he was on the property. Yeah. Was it when he was taking stuff? Oh, he never no, took stuff. No, mm -hmm. no. This is the first time I heard my brother took stuff. And my brother's handicapped. How can he jump through up a RV I mean, a that's window? a good question. He's not handicapped. He jumped through the driver's seat. Who has the keys to the RV? He does. Why is it still on the property? I can't even get back there. She told me there's no one here to put the pet bulls up. I can't get in there. That was at one time because I, I didn't have nobody to get the pebble. He told me he was going to come over the next day. I waited for him the whole day. He never showed up. So you want the RV off your property? Yeah, my landlord wants it. And when did you try to go and take it off the property? Never. Wait a minute, we just heard about a time when he wanted to oh, go, but the pit bulls couldn't be put away. That was that one time. What, the one time? But when was that one time? Maybe a month, month, month ago. You want the RV back, I assume? Yes. How do you know what's missing from it? Because before that happened, I went in there. Because no. when her daughter called, I went in there and seen what was all missing. Gonna she was going to take care of it. Don't call the cops. We don't have to go through all that. We're family. OK, fine, fine. I Not once want did she call. even try. Not once did she even try. So I said, OK, you expect me to pay you when you owe me thousands of dollars worth of stuff. You don't want me to call the cops on your son. So I'm like, OK, fine. And she hasn't done nothing but that she wants me to pay her $50 a month when they just sold everything. And I can't move it because the one time I went, her dogs don't, no, you can't get it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open this thank, up to my colleagues. Mr. Nguyen, what do you do for a living? I'm a care provider. I take care of my brother. He's handicapped. Who pays you? A state does. How old is your brother? Maybe he's 65. 665. I, I don't understand, understand how I my think, brother I think got we have, into this. I have enough. Anything further uh, that you'd like to ask? Okay, we're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you both very much. We've reached a verdict. It's unanimous. Let me first start with the countersuit. You're suing the plaintiff for the value of the property that you contend was in the RV while it was on her property. The plaintiff cannot be held responsible for that because this was, by virtue of your own testimony, a criminal act of a third party under these circumstances cannot be imputed to the plaintiff or placed on the plaintiff's shoulders. So, therefore, we dismiss in total your countersuit. With respect to your suit against the defendant for storage fees, we find that he attempted to get back his vehicle in August and was prevented from doing so. The reasons for it are not that clear, but he claims that he was unable to get it back from you. Mm -hmm. So he would owe you for June and July at the rate that he agreed to of $50 for each month. We cannot impose on him the additional rent that you are being charged because he never agreed to do that. So that would be inappropriate. So we find in your favor in the amount of $100. As an aside, you have to make this RV available to your cousin, whether you take the dogs in the house or you go to the police to escort you to go pick up your RV, you remove it from the property. We understand each other? I understand you. All right, so the verdict of the court is the cross-complaint is dismissed and the complaint is granted to the extent of $100. That's the verdict of the court.